Oh, shit. What's going on, guys? It is your good friend, DC, from DL Collections. We are here right now in my den yet again with another massive statue. Now, this is a piece that's been out for quite some time. Uh, I had actually purchased it right when it came out. Now, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I was a fan of Godzilla back when I was a baby, or kid, if you guys want to be politically correct. And by the way, just so everybody knows, if you are watching my channel for the first time or for a hundredth time, I don't care at all about any of the specifics of any character. I don't. I do not care. So if if Rogue's butt was always big in X-Men, and I think it was big in that statue, I don't care if I'm wrong about when it was big. I don't care. If I don't know where Spider-Man took a piss in high school, I don't care. I strictly just buy this stuff because I enjoy it. I don't even look at the specifics. I don't care about that. I just buy these things. I think they're freaking cool. Now, when I grew up as a kid, my dad showed me Godzilla for the first time. And ironically, the first Godzilla I had ever seen was Godzilla vs. King Kong. A absolutely atrocious looking movie with the weirdest looking monkey ever and a doofy looking lizard with big old lips. With that being said, the new adaptation of Godzilla at first in the first Godzilla uh, movie for this new franchise that's opened up, I thought it looked really stupid because it was a really thick legged lizard with really no depth to it. And honestly, that movie was horrible. It was probably one of the worst Godzilla movies ever made. But it ended up opening the door for a really, really, really cool future for the franchise and for this version of Godzilla. Now, this version of Godzilla has actually grown on me majorly, and I have bought a few pieces regarding to this actual type of Godzilla. Um, I think I did the review in 1986. I, I brought this up in the last video I did. I am selling that statue. I do not like it. But that is one of my favorite Godzillas ever made as far as the version of Godzilla. There is numerous pieces for this, and I'm really excited to do this one because this is the bust. Now, back to what I was saying earlier, I actually pre-purchased this a while back. I put it in my cart, and I just kind of forgot about it because I was buying things as they were released. Well, right when this piece was released, it actually went on sale. So I lost my $160 deposit, and I think the statue was $1,800. And it ended up going on sale for $1,200 with free shipping. So after I ate my deposit, if you add that back to the $1,200 and change that I paid for it, I still saved over $400 by canceling my original one. Uh, this one finally came. They said it was ready to ship. So I had it shipped out last week and it finally arrived. So let's get to this build. And first off, the art box. Now, some people don't really care about art boxes. It's actually one of my favorite things about it. So they have the... Godzilla vs. Kong. It was a poster they did. I love that. Uh, it shows on this side. It shows the, the bust itself, which we're about to get into. Uh, precautions on it. And in the back, it's got this really menacing look of the bust with some stats from Godzilla. Now, this particular base is really incredible. And I've seen some people post the uh, their versions of theirs. And I got to tell you. Everybody I've seen post this, I think, has not done this piece justice. And I'm praying that it's as good looking as I think it should be. So uh, let's get into this and see what we got. Some people are taking the pictures, and, and I always get so mad whenever someone takes a picture of a statue and they have the camera all the way zoomed out. So a lot of people were posting this, and I was really nervous to receive it because... Godzilla looked awfully anorexic and borderline a meth head. So to not, to hopefully not see that for myself will be uh, pretty cool. I know my girl is borderline as excited as I am. Let's get into this opening. Okay, and the box is upside down. It, ooh, all right. Now, I do know that this base is probably going to be the nicest base out of any Godzilla ever made. 
So off the bat, they have a very cool design on the bottom. It shows Kong. Um, I'm presuming this is kind of like the hieroglyphics that they showed us. Number uh, 1372 out of 1500. Yeah, so they actually did Prime 1, went ahead and took some of the hieroglyphics that were on the, uh, in the movie, in the, uh, I guess the, when it first, you know, started opening up scenes, opening scenes. So this base, oh, wow. Okay, so a lot more detail than I actually thought it was going to be, which is really cool. So I had seen a lot of people post it, and I know there's a lot of features to this, and I'm going to try to give you guys the best look at it. Now, I want to say this. My biggest gripe with this particular... Wow. As I look at it, it gets cooler and cooler. My biggest gripe with this particular statue is that the coolest part of it is on the back of it. So I'm going to be displaying this in my den so that anybody looks at it, at, looks at it can appreciate both sides of it. So I pretty much have a bachelor house and it's probably not the best thing to invite people over to. But who cares? I got a big life-size, well, not life-size, a bust of Godzilla. Uh, let me give you guys this, do this as, as easy as possible. So if you remember in the King Kong versus uh, Ghidorah, Monster X Zero, what is he again? Anyway. Um, this kind of shows like the area where he was living underwater, like an, an ancient Mayan, Aztec, Egyptian setup. It's a little funky because this area right here has got a little bit of like Chinese looks to it with the peaks over here. Um, in the back, it has the lava oozing out with two big old Godzilla Egyptian type characters. So I think that's really cool. And again, it has the hieroglyphics on it. So there's a lot of a lot of pieces to this. It's a little bit of a hieroglyphic Egyptian slash, uh, I don't know. It's It's got a lot, but it's really, really, really cool. So when this base gets put together, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Let's see what's next. All right, as you can see, it is a massive box with that monster right there, Godzilla on it. As I was taking this box out, I noticed that I heard some breakage. So I am extremely man I just edited myself from cursing uh this is not gonna be a pleasant unboxing because I hear all the broken parts in it and we're just gonna get to it because I have this sinking feeling in my stomach that a lot of the fins are broken and I hope that sideshow will be cool about giving me something in return because I'm not happy right now but let's get into it let's go back into it okay so I've opened the box obviously. There's a couple weird things in it, so if any of you have purchased this Godzilla bust and received these things, just tell me. So, first off, I have, I think it's an advertisement for the Jurassic Park scene at the end of the first one when the Velociraptors are attacking the T-Rex, and the T-Rex saves Grant and all of them. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, next up, it gives me a 2022 calendar. Um, okay, 2022 is over, that's cool. The directions for the Godzilla. Oh, and a Prime 1 catalog. That's pretty cool. And then, I don't know what this is. But again, I hear some breakage and I see a lot of dust particles. So let's take it out of the box. All right, so as I was unboxing it, I could obviously hear that things are broken. I'm going to take this plastic off, and we're going to hope for the best. Right, Ryan? Yeah? That's what I thought, too, buddy. Ugh. What was that? I just hope it's silicon leaves. Okay, so, so far, so good. Take him out. Oh, wow. That's got some weight to it. All right, guys. So, sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulty putting it together. A couple pieces were broken, but certainly not the end of the world. Um, I may be able to fix them. To be honest with you, I'm not as excited for this as I thought I was going to be. I really had my hopes up for it, and 
I'll tell you what, they didn't disappoint totally, but there are a couple lackluster things in this, and we will close up on them in just a few. The reason why I have the statue turned around right now is because I think this is the coolest part about it. Now, what's so cool about it is they actually made this cavern that's under, you know, some subterranean, you know, thing underneath, you know, the earth or whatever, in the middle of the earth, whatever the hell it is. And they actually used Godzilla's back to create this cavern that sits right on top of the stairs that you remember in the movie when it was King, Con I mean, you know, Godzilla versus Ghidorah. Now, this little Godzilla they have right here, it goes right here. And this little Godzilla right here is actually a very, very, very cool piece. It's really, you know, let me show you, give you guys a close up on this. This is actually done almost better than a statue. <laughs> I think that, you know, Prime One, they did do an awesome job on the detail that I'll show you guys in a minute. But the details, what I mean, is kind of like all the nooks and crannies inside the Godzilla. Same thing with the main statue, but they took a lot of time to make this a really cool and badass looking mini statue. Now that little mini piece, again, goes right here. It does have a magnet on it, so it does lock into place. Uh, I would assume that that's where it goes. There are also two more of what I'm going to assume are the statues, yes they are, that you saw earlier. And where these go, I will certainly figure that out as well. So, kind of like on the base, these are the Godzilla, the uh, the higher, the Egyptian Godzillas that I was talking to you guys about earlier. So, there was this really cool story that I heard a while back, and basically what they had said was, is you know, how do we know if aliens are real? Long story short, they compared it to things that you know and things that you don't know that exist. So, for instance, if I tell one of you to how, uh, how do you build a lightsaber, you guys are going to say, well, you grab some metal, you grab a crystal, and you grab, you make energy, and you create, get wires to create a light. That's how we would think to make one. Now, if you're a nerd that loves Star Wars, I don't care. I don't want your, your whole spiel about a Star Wars lightsaber. I'm just giving you an example. So what they would do is they would say, okay, so we would tell you that that's how we would build a lightsaber. But we don't know how to freaking build one. So if you go back to the Egyptians, the Egyptians, when you look at the hieroglyphics, they show a bird coming from the sky and then a god walking off the bird. Well, what would they compare that to? So... If they saw a spaceship or a plane or something of that nature and somebody walking off of it, they would consider that bird, because that's what they know, birds flap their wings, that's the only thing they know that flies in the sky, and then the bird man, which is the alien, comes off the spaceship and that's what they, you know, presume that is. So that's kind of how they connected aliens to Egyptians and that's why they always say that the hieroglyphic, um, the hieroglyphics, the pyramids are built so incredible that we couldn't do it as mankind can today the way they did it back then. So, I don't know. Very cool little stories. I want to tell you guys that. But that's kind of how they depicted the hieroglyphics and everything around Godzilla here. Now, again, the back is really awesome. So, to not want to show this is almost painful. And you almost don't do it justice because I think it looks better than the actual statue. It's facing me in the eye right now. What I was saying to you guys about detail was, is this piece does have a lot of detail to it. And if I had to guess what Godzilla looked like, I would assume Godzilla looks like this, as he does in the movie. And the more and more I look at it, the more and more I actually like it. So I was probably talking shit way too soon. But let me turn it around for you guys and show you Godzilla. Because I do think a lot of people screwed this Godzilla up in the sense that they made him look like a meth head. So let's show you this. So here you have it, guys. Godzilla in all his mighty power. The piece actually looks really good in the light. So as I look at it in the camera, I'm like, wow, it actually does look really good. There are a couple misses on this that I'm not too excited about. I think for one, it's just gray black with little hints of goldish brown in it. And unfortunately, I think that that kind of sucks because we're missing a lot of things in this, right? 
Now it does have a light up feature and I don't actually know how that light up feature works. And I would love to show you guys it, but I'm gonna have to read that in the directions. However, I think there's a lot of misses on this. And this to me is a problem because, you know, you sell the statue, I, I got it at a discount, so I'm actually really not that mad about it. But I kind of thought they could have done a little more detail and we'll do a close up on the face because one of the biggest misses I think are the eyes. But the more I think about it, I guess you really do get the bang for your buck because it's a very big statue. There is a lot of cool detail on the base. I'm looking at the back now more direct and I'm like really impressed by that. And the actual statue itself. So maybe I'm being a little dramatic bitch and I likely am probably because I'm tired. I've been working a 14 hour day, 30, 60, 50, 16 hour day now. But anyway, I, I'm probably just being tired. I'm probably being a cry baby. So if you ask me, if you can get it on sale, it is super worth it. If you're a fan of Godzilla like I am, I think it's super worth it. Do I think that I would have purchased it knowing how big it was? Well, I knew what I was getting myself into, so that's a stupid question. Something I do want to note, out, note about the detail, which I actually really like about this, is if you look on the side, right over here on his neck, it shows basically gills. Because if you know anything about Godzilla, he is an aquatic kaiju. Uh, he spends a lot of time in the water. And what's really funny is if you know anything about Godzilla, it's either Godzilla versus Megalon or Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. Godzilla, <laughs> he takes his tail looking like a ding dong, folds up in a ball like this and flies across the screen using his breath, uh, his atomic breath. That is one of the most ridiculous Godzilla movies ever. But I honestly would play with the old Godzilla toys from KB Toys and fly him around the room like that, like he had flying capabilities. Uh, anyway, back to the statue though. So... It doesn't look like the crackhead that everybody made him look like when they took pictures. So if you're looking at this, this is what it actually looks like in person. It looks beefy. It looks good. It really looks great. And ironically, I watched a movie a few nights ago, and they made Godzilla's head look like a peanut when Kong was beating his ass at the end of the film, which he comes back and destroys Kong. But anyway, spoiler alert, my bad. So look, end of the day... I'm just being a little bitch. It really is a cool statue. Despite the color flaws and how dry it is and how black it is and how gray it is with a little bit of silver and I guess some other stuff in it, I'm really not too mad because they did so much detail in the base, in the cavern, on the mini Godzilla. They really did do a killer job on it. But the only thing that's irking me, and maybe this is why I'm being a little girl about it, is his eyes are terrible. They really are a horrible, boring color. And they're like pinned like he just... Did some meth. But let me figure out this light-up feature because that's really what we want to see. And I know it's what we all want to see. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Well, here you guys go. It is the light-up feature that comes with the Godzilla bust. Uh, the lava is actually pouring out of the bottom of the statue, which you can see semi on the bottom. The lights do, the eyes do glow. The mouth a little bit, and the spines really do on a close-up end of it, have a really cool glow to it. I'll be honest with you, I thought it was going to look a lot better. It doesn't look as good as I thought it does, and now that I look at it like this, I actually think it looks better with the lights on. So let me do that. Let me turn the lights on. So you can see it's got the still got the blue glow to it, which makes it look a little cooler. The button on the back is pretty crappy working. It doesn't work too well. But actually, the it looks better with the lights on. I, I thought it was going to look better. The box and the preview all make it look so much better uh, than it actually does uh, in person. So, you know what? To be honest with you, it looks better with the lights on. I thought the darkness was going to really make it worth it. But that didn't sell me on it. So, again, I'm going to stick to my guns in this statue. It is a very cool piece. If you are a Godzilla fan like myself, you will enjoy it. Do I think it was a 10 out of 10 statue, a knockout the park? No. Do I think it's in the high sevens? Yeah, totally. I think it's the pictures that I think people showed on the internet were did not do the justice that it deserved. I also think that they oversold it. I bought it from Sideshow. I think that they oversold it. 
But I also do think Prime um, Prime One is a fantastic company, and I'm all around not mad. So at the end of the day, very cool piece. I got it on sale. If you can get it on sale, that's just the way you want to buy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this put together of the Prime One Studios, Godzilla versus Kong. And I hope you guys maybe want to add to your collection too, because it's a cool piece to add. It is very wide though. I will say that. I actually didn't mention that. The width of this thing is wicked. So, what am I, from Boston? I said wicked. What am I, a jerk off? It is a very wide piece. And depending on how you display it, which I will display it like this because I want people to see how awesome this back feature is. So, that to me is the best way to present it to people. So, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me all the nerd facts that I didn't know so you can bastardize me like every one of my other videos. I really don't care. It's totally okay. I'm just not that guy to know the facts. But anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single time someone makes a comment. I'm just doing this for fun, guys. It's just something to keep me, uh, you know, I guess keep my sanity. Riley's over here hanging out. He's chilling. Right, Riley? You all good, buddy? Okay, good talk. Uh, so... Yeah, guys, comment. Tell me what you think of this. I really want to know what you guys think of this because I am, uh, I'm on the fence. I, I'm enjoying it. Not my favorite piece in the world, but it's got some cool, really cool things to it. Check you guys in the next one.